How are you doing? What we're gonna be doing is creating our own wood texture pattern in Illustrator CC, and I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch. So what I've got here is I've got an image of Unsplash, and the key here is you really wanna find an image where you can see a tree bark or flat wood that's cut maybe, that's really flat, and that you can see all the grains within the actual wood. You wanna keep it as natural as possible. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually trace over those lines. So what I've done, I took the image, took it to Photoshop, pretty much bumped up the levels, made it grayscale, and now I can just see all these cool thick lines that I wanna trace over in Illustrator. So I'm just gonna bring this image over here, I'll duplicate it. I'm gonna bring it down on a different layer and I'll type image and I'll just grab this little color box here and that's gonna drag it to the bottom layer. I'm gonna lock this layer and I'll start to trace over it. But first I'm just going to select this image, drop the opacity down to 60%, maybe 50. 60 is fine, just so I'm gonna trace over it. So I'll turn that off. I'll go to my top layer now, as you can see. I'm on my design layer. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press P for the pen tool and I'm gonna actually start to create these lines. So it doesn't matter if I go out of bounds or anything, but what I'm gonna do is select a cool color from the swatches panel. So I'll pick something bright. I'll pick like a bright orange here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna follow these lines. I'm, I want to get the main thick lines just so it's clear on that we can see the grain. So all I'm doing is clicking and dragging. I'm gonna make my stroke thicker so I'm just going to go my stroke and bump that up so you guys can see. And I'm just going to go through here. I'll press tab to get rid of my toolbars there. And I'm just going to click and drag and pretty much go through following the line as much as possible. Don't worry about being too perfect with the curves. We can always actually go back and edit it later. And I don't have to follow it exactly 100%. As long as I'm like going with the flow of it. And by the time we're done with it, it's going to look like a cool grain effect. But if you don't have all the, the main lines, it may not look like it's a wood. So I'm zooming in with my holding alt and my mouse key. I'm just zooming in here and slowly just going over left click once, drag to get the, the curvy lines and just slowly creating all these lovely grain strokes in my Illustrator document. So it's coming together. So it may take some time, but I guarantee if you do it this way from the start, it'll just make it way easier down the line. It's also good to do some short strokes, just so it's a bit more organic, so it's not all the same length. So what I wanna do now is I'm, I've created pretty much the base, base of it. I could probably go in and add more lines, but for now that's totally cool. You know, the more time you spend it, you're gonna get a lot more detail in it. But first off, what I wanna do is I'm gonna make a box and I'm just gonna make it around the image there and make it black or a dark color there. And I'm just gonna duplicate, I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift and just click and drag it across to duplicate it like this. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select everything and then go on the outsides. I'm gonna press Shift M for the Shape Builder tool and just holding Alt, I'm gonna left click and minus, you can see I'm selecting and just selecting over those lines and just cutting them off because they're excess shapes and paths we don't need. So I'm just going to there, cutting them off. And make sure you select everything so you can see that it's selected the line and the paths as well. So I'm doing it very quickly just so I don't bore you with that. So cool, there we have it. So we got all these. So you can see that the end of the lines, they're not tapered off, they're not rounded, so they look a bit weird. They don't look organic. So I'll just make sure that the black line's locked. So that's locked. I'll select all these lines. And what I'll actually do is if I go to my stroke panel, I'll drag that out for you so you can see. So I have my stroke panel 
And what I can actually do here is actually round off the caps in the corner. So if I select this middle option, you can see that it rounds off all the edges of the lines. And you can also do round the corners as well. Um, but you probably won't notice that because there's not really many corners because it's just a straight paths. So that's pretty cool. I can turn on dash lines and see what that looks like. So that looks interesting, but I'll turn that off. So yeah, that's looking a bit more organic. Another thing we can actually do as well is taper off the ends if you want that type of look. So I'll select all the lines again. Go to the top left corner next to the fill and the stroke up here. And you'll see this line and it says uniform. You want to click on that drop down box. Now Illustrator gives you defaults, which are totally cool. And the one that I would probably think of is probably using the first one and the fourth one here. So if I select this, you can see it actually tapers off the ends, which is kind of interesting. And you get like this nice texture look. If I select it and try another one, maybe I want to go for the fourth one. You can see it tapers off one end, but it doesn't really look like a wood grain. So that one doesn't work. And I can play around with the other ones. That one's kind of cool as well. The first one obviously works. This one with the two um, sort of square slash sharp ends, that's okay. And those other ones work alright. So you can do those if you want that type of effect. Or you can go back to uniform and keep it as rounded. I can also go through here and widen the lines if I want. So I can press shift, select the path, press shift W, and that will select the width tool. And what this allows me to do is to up the width of certain areas so I can make this width go all the way down. I can select and drag and drag the middle up if I want to make the width, but I probably wouldn't do it for this type of pattern because it's like a wood thing, which is totally fine. So now what I can do, I can go and make some color and test it out. So I'll use this brown color for now. Kind of cool. Just move this out of the way. I'll select all this. I'll drag it over here. I'll make sure the color is on my strokes. I want the strokes. Then I'll select the brown color. And you can see how the wood grain is looking. Now we have like this cool texture. So that looks awesome. I can go and multiply as well and play around with that. And see what it looks like. Another cool thing as well is because it's the, I've made a box here, I can actually turn it into a pattern. So if I just delete all these colors here, I don't want to use them. So if I bring my swatches panel here, if I press Control alt 2 I'm just unlocking this box. And if I, I'm just going to select the box there and just turn off the fill here. So click this little red stroke. And now you can see the box is just an outline. So I'll select everything here. Left click and drag it into my swatches panel. Once I've done that, if I drag out a box and click it, you can see that we have sort of this pattern. And obviously it doesn't line up because we didn't set it up properly. But you know, if you just want like a quick pattern, you can do it this way. But I have another tutorial on how to make seamless patterns. You can watch that um, to learn how to make it. I can double click in here and just play around with these. on the tiles and play around with that. But obviously for now, you can just leave it like that. So awesome, thanks for watching. This is how you make a wood grain pattern. Hopefully it was helpful. And leave a comment below if it was too fast or you wanna see more of this type of texturing. And hit the subscribe button because I post design tutorials and design tips and strategies to help you guys grow in your career and in the design industry. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next video.